if we want to truly understand the physical properties of planets around stars, we need to be able to accurately determine the physical properties of the stars themselves. And so in the course of trying to understand the magnetism of stars, uh, we came across this uh, fantastically uh, useful and important discovery uh, that allows us to measure one of the most fundamental physical properties of stars accurately, but more simply than ever before. That's the surface gravity of the star. So uh, the reason this is so important for exoplanet science is that whenever we discover a planet around another star, everything that we, that we can measure about the planet is actually measured in relation to the star that it's orbiting. So for example, suppose you have discovered a planet and you would like to know what kind of a world is it? Is it a gas giant planet like Jupiter? Or is it a rocky, watery world like the Earth? What you really want to know is what is the density of that planet? Because the density of the planet then tells us what kind of a world is it? What is it made out of? Well, we don't measure the density of the planet directly. What we really measure is the density of the planet in relation to the density of the star. What we've discovered is a way to simply but accurately measure these kinds of properties for the star so that then we can determine them for the planets. One of the reasons that it's a big deal is that while astronomers have, for a long time, had other techniques available for making these kinds of measurements of stars, uh, number one, those techniques involve uh, what you might call expensive data collection. You have to measure the detailed spectrum of the star and you have to go to a very large telescope and, uh, and use that very large telescope for a long amount of time uh, in order to collect the spectrum of the star, analyze the spectrum of the star in fine detail, and even then, uh, the, the, the surface gravity of the star that you measure from the spectrum is not that accurate. It might have an uncertainty to it of about 40% or 50%, okay? The reason that our discovery is so important and so huge is that all we have to do is measure the amount by which the light from the star flickers in a very particular and clever way, but it's easy and we can measure the surface gravity of the star with an accuracy of 20 or 25 percent. What I was trying to do was to understand a pattern that we were seeing in my data in which we expect that the surface magnetic field strength of a star correlates with the way that its brightness varies. And we were seeing a pattern in our data that we did not understand. This has been one of the most rewarding st student collaborations that I've had uh, in my career. Uh, here we have a graduate student performing dissertation research. Uh, and together, we used a data visualization tool uh, that, that was developed by other members of my team. And we came across this very unexpected but incredibly useful and important discovery.